sends. Okay, whatever. I'm having a stroke. Okay. Good morning, everybody. It's May 1st, and I really wanted to vlog every day in May. So I'm hoping that I will be as you know, responsible about it as I was during Vlogmas. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm like in the vlogging spirit during Christmas time, so this is like, I'm gonna have to remind myself a lot. But it's a Friday, and today we are getting little Roxy trimmed like a lion. So I have to like trick her because she does not like going in her crate. She's also too big for it. Okay, here's the before of the cute little kitty. And our friends Matt and Zoe, who just got married, they actually left their cats with us while they're on their honeymoon. So we have two cats downstairs. So as soon as I put her in her crate, I'm gonna go give them food. And it's just all about the cats this morning. Rox, it's okay, it's okay. The place we're going is really close, okay? Oh, okay, so let's check on these kitties. I keep them downstairs while they're here because I bet they're right here. Hi, hi, that's Edgar and that's Edward. Hey, you guys want breakfast though? Uh oh, they're like, what is that cat meowing? <laughs> Come on, let's go get breakfast. So yeah, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I actually didn't have to nanny this morning, um, but I guess I want to show you guys Roxy in the car because she's actually really good in the car. I always just open the top of her little crate and I pet her. Hey, kitty. Oh, are you the cutest? Look how cute you are. She's in love with the boy. She's in love with the scratches on her head. Okay, I just dropped her off. I hope she's good, because the first time I dropped her off, they'd, you know, they'd obviously never um, shaved her before, and they were like, if she isn't cooperating, I'll have to like call you back, because they don't do sedation there. Um, so I hope it goes well this time. She's actually a pretty good cat. Like whenever I take her to the vet, she's really well behaved. Um, but anyways, so I've got half an hour. I'm going to go to Target because it's in the same little area as us. And then I'm going to get some coffee at Scooters. So oh, I just, oh, I can't wait to see her. She's going to be so cute. I was just minding my own business, walking around in this aisle. And that started and it scared the bejesus out of me. Also, I always feel guilty having Scooters here because they sell Starbucks at Target. Oh well. So, I really want this basket, but I don't need it, right? Oh, it says it's a mail crate. How cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, you smell so good. How does it feel to be a lion? Huh? You're kind of misproportioned. Your head's giant, and then your body's little except for your big old belly. <laughs> you can come out. Hi. Oh, apparently, I'll show you guys the report card. A progress report. She has quite the attitude. <laughs> you little stinker. Are you giving them attitude? Yeah. Do you only love your mommy? It's okay. You can admit it. It's okay. Shall we go home? Okay, let's go home. Okay, we're home. <laughs> Come on out. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl. You got a belly on you. Come here. Oh my gosh. You look a little funny. I, I can't even lie. <laughs> Your belly has gotten so much bigger than the last time we did this. Come here. Do you like the way it feels? I think she likes it because she did this exact thing like last time. She just like goes rubbing herself on everything. I think it feels so good, huh? What do you think? Look at her belly. I think you just look so beautiful. I don't care what anybody else says. And then they gave me Hi. a they gave me a progress report, and okay. it says Roxy has quite the attitude. <laughs> Where'd you take her? <laughs> Just to PetSmart. That's where I took her last time. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, but, well, that was my mom on the phone, by the way. I wanted to get her reaction because I knew she'd think it was funny. 
Our house is just like um, a madhouse right now with these cats. It's so funny. Roxy is actually like kind of more inquisitive and she's not just like hiding, which I am glad about. Um, but I was going to the bathroom and I heard a crash. I'm like, oh great, <laughs> who did what? And I find Edgar in the sink, in the kitchen sink. Little stinker, Roxy would never do that because she knows better. Um, I'm gonna go um, shower and I am going to go get my oil changed. And that's about the whole plan for today. I'm gonna bring a book to read and uh, yeah. So it is later in the day, obviously. Um, it is almost two. It's later than I wanted it to be when I got out the door to go get my oil changed. So, it's just been a busy week and I needed to get just caught up on things around the house. So um, I am just getting all my things ready. Alrighty, well I just left Dillard's. Where's Dillard's? Can you see that? Anyways, um, I just felt like vlogging and walking. Walking. <laughs> okay, I'm being weird. But anyways, I just stopped at Dillard's because um, Drew has needed um, to exchange some pants that he got like a long, actually I think we did a vlog, I did a vlog that day. It was President's Day, so back in February. <clears throat> he just doesn't have as much time to do that kind of stuff, so I pretty much just do it for him. So I finally got some pants exchanged for him. And uh, also, I went to get my oil changed and I kind of knew it was going to be a while because I didn't make an appointment or anything. And the guy was like, yeah, it might be like an hour. And I was like, oh, that's okay because I, I read a book. I expected it to be long. And then about eight minutes later, he's like, Acura's done. I'm like, my, my Acura? Mine? <laughs> uh, what the heck? I thought it was going to be an hour. And he's like, well, the other people whose cars were being worked on, we kind of pushed theirs back and pushed yours ahead since you were here. I said, oh, that's really nice of you to do that. You didn't have to. So then I was like, sweet, I'm going to go get this done. So now you guys, I just feel accomplished today. I need to go home and pay a bunch of bills and then I will feel like really, I just got a lot done. Okay, so I just got done paying a bunch of bills. It was just so much fun. I mean, bill paying is like a party. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of picking up a little bit around the house and I am going to go for a run, I think. Um, I'm really hoping it doesn't rain on me. It seems like the rain has subsided um, for the day, but just never can be too sure. Um, but I'm just gonna go on a quick one um, before the hubby gets home. And what else was it? Oh, I was gonna show you really quickly what I got at Target. Well, I mean, I just got eye makeup remover wipes, which is not exciting. Um, and then I got my under eye concealer, that like Maybelline little puff thingy that I use. Um, but I also got this cool thing for our friends Andy and Ashley. So they're getting married and um, their last name starts with a C. And I found this at Target and I thought it'd be a really cool wedding gift. So it's like a marquee letter. Here, I'll just like, I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see it. Okay, so yeah, there it is. Isn't that cool looking? Um, so they only had a very, very small selection of letters. Um, of course, if they had had like a K or a D or even an S, I would have totally tried to get some for Drew and I, but they didn't. And I was like, oh, they have a C though. It's perfect. So they have a really cool bar set up in their house. So I thought this would be cool for the bar and it's battery powered, which is interesting. Here's a little switch and there's like where the battery goes. Um, and it looks like this is like, it says on, off and timer. So I don't know how long the timer is. It probably says it in this little thing, but, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll give that to them. Um, for a shower or the wedding gift or something, but I thought it was kind of cool and um, Yeah, I think that's all I gotta show you guys for now time to go run <laughs> So I just got back from my run and I saw this super creepy guy pull up by the way when I saw your car I didn't know it was yours at first. I was like, that's a nice car ah. and I drove by I was like, oh, it's true yeah. it keeps creeping on me while I'm running. It's really unfortunate. But Drew's gonna mow the lawn and I'm gonna... I don't gonna... have time to vlog. I gotta go do things. Oh, say hi though. Ah! I don't have time to vlog. I gotta go do things. Okay. Well, he's gonna go do things and I'm going to go pull some weeds. And look what he brought home. This is so mean. Look at these donuts and cinnamon rolls. It's not fair. 
I've really been trying to be good. I've really been trying to be good, so I'm gonna say no to those. Maybe for breakfast or something. I don't know. Although now is probably the time for me to eat it since I just am still burning calories after I ran. But no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. Instead of donuts and cinnamon rolls, I'm gonna have, well I already had a bite, but I'm having cottage cheese and half an avocado. I feel like a post-workout snack should be, whoa, should be full of protein and good fats and some carbohydrates. So really I could probably use some more carbs. But I feel like this is pretty good. Cottage cheese and an avocado, well half. This is a giant avocado. <laughs> so I'm weird and I just like totally scoop this right out of here and eat it. I, I love guac too, but I could like eat avocados plain all day. So we're all done with our yard work and we made some tortellini last night and we, it's just infamous Costco tortellini and there's always so much left over. So this is what it looks like heated up. Really yummy, delicious, perfect looking. Just kidding. Very messy, but so delicious. I think, are we going to go hang out with Jason and Steph? Probably, maybe. Cool. So we might go hang out with some of our friends and that's the basic gist. Time for dinner. Well, it's catnip time. Somebody's covered. Rex, come here. Go get it. Edgar, you don't want any? Rex, get it. Edgar is like not into it. <laughs> Edward, however, is on drugs. And now you're going to clean your balls. <laughs> He's so chubby. I love it.